So yeah, hi everybody. It's like I'm too time trying to get back into this. Uh, this will be a really short video. I thought I would jump into Albion, but I'm thinking that it's pretty much not going to let me because I think you still got like two hours left before to play. I just thought I'd try that I have it. I have not done anything with it, so when I do, yep, all the beauties. Um, so when I do actually start playing it, I'll show, I'll sit there and play a little bit for you guys and let you guys see it from someone who's not really played it. Now, it, Albion reminds me of a, of the, uh, Fable series. I think it's Fable. Yes, it's Fable. Hold on. Maybe I shouldn't use that web browser. That web browser. Yes, Fable. That series that has had its good moments and a lot of bad ones. Uh, let's just say that if it is in the same universe, it'd be kind of cool. Um, it is an MMORPG, from what I understand. And... Uh, kind of runs in a similar vibe as far as I've seen. But yeah. But I thought I'd take this moment to say hello, and I'm back, and that, um, I don't know. I, I want to make things regular on for streaming on Twitch or for sitting there and which on Twitch I'm Kmander, Firefly. I think it's came in Firefly 13, but we'll see in a moment here. Authorizing. Yeah, Kmander Firefly 13. The letter K and then M A N D E R Firefly, so F I R E F L Y. 13. And so those are my two channels that I use. Uh, that one for Twitch and then this one. And I have yet to decide how I want to go about it. Um, it's been a little bit of time. I'm thinking about playing some Warframe, some Mass Effect, some other games I enjoy. I just... It's all been down the timing. Like, where, how do I go about this? Do I... It'd be kind of nice if, like, I knew what I was doing. But, of course, as with most things I put my heart and soul into, at first I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. So, with that being said, I thought I'd say hi, send a video out, let you guys know I still exist. Um, those of you who are on my friends list, so on my uh, uh, subscribing list so far, I have seen, I think I know all of you guys so far, so... Y'all know I ain't dead yet, so, ha. But, um, yeah. That's kind of sad. I was really hoping that I was actually going to be able to take and do it right now. I'm feeling the mood for videos, so, you know, maybe I might just pop this one and another one out. Haven't decided yet. So, anyways. Uh, here we go. Um, I'll be in sofa for me. <laughs> uh, I really wish I would have known about the timing thing. But I guess, at the very least, that's a good thing. I always, I actually love it when games do take this time to do proper maintenance on themselves. So just letting it go without really any, like, other than hot fixes, you know, like, to honestly shut down servers long enough to sit there and let you know let people actually fix it there are a lot of games I wish that would do this but everyone has their own system so I'm not really gonna criticize it anyways um da -da -da -da. 
I don't know what else. Oh, um, the only thing I don't like so far with what I've seen, the loading and everything, is the anti-easy cheat or whatever little teddy bear that pops on, like, any, you know, like, when you, I don't know how many of you guys have played a bunch of these MMORPGs, but, like, there's a few of them that have, like, this little bear that's, like, pixelated in different shades of blue, and I think it's, like, anti-easy cheat or easy anti-cheat or something like those lines. And the last, like, some, most games I have that have it are good, but it just means it takes forever for my computer to register them. Or, I think the first time I had it, it it's still messing with my laptop to this day. Like, there's extra little windows that like to pop up out of the blue on my, from the time I started using that for some of the other games I've tried on my laptop. So far, I have not seen that on my desktop, which is amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to fight that. Oh, I can't. I'm still fighting it on my poor little laptop. That thing's a dinosaur now. It's funny. When I got it, it wasn't so much of a dinosaur, but... Yeah, I just looked down at her. She's underneath my table, so. And yeah, I know I'm weird, but I tend to personify a lot of my electronics and vehicles. Anyways, uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys have any experience with the anti-easy cheat or anti-cheat easy or easy anti-cheat or whatever it's called, but... If you guys have played Albion before at all, and you've seen the little teddy bear that looks like, like triangular pixelated, like a real funky digitized uh, um, teddy bear, then uh, let me know what you guys' experience was with it. Because so far, uh, with me, it's been hit or miss. Who knows? Maybe they're getting better with it, but. When I first experienced it, I think it was at least a year or so ago. Uh, at least a year ago. Yeah, yeah, it's been around for at least a year or so. Um, if not, probably longer. But I haven't had a lot of good experiences with it, but I... Other than the one time that really still messed with my computer... Um, I don't mind messing inside. I'll just pop up a whole bunch of random windows. And, now, I don't think it was the only thing doing it now, but who knows. But hopefully that means that they're really serious about trying to prevent people from cheating or putting in hacks and stuff like that. Who knows. But yeah, I'll be in online. Hope to play it eventually within the next few days. And uh, if so, I'll let you guys know. Have a nice day, and uh, yeah, this is uh, Tempin' and Out. See you guys later. Bye-bye.